So this session is around globally responsible careers. So I'm just going to show you to start with the website material that this presentation is based on. So scientists for global responsibility have produced a range of resources hosted on this web page called Globally Responsible Careers in STEM, STEM being science, technology, engineering, and maths. Hopefully you all knew that. Um, and we've produced a number of resources. First one is around self-assessment. So it's looking at yourself, reflecting on what it is you're interested in, what your skills are, what your strengths are, what you would like to do. Then we look at issues. What are some of the uh, issues, the globally responsible issues that you might be concerned about? Then we've got a number of career paths in relation to STEM. We've got a few case studies and we've got a number of resources. Um, for example, the slides that we're going to be using this morning and uh, posters and other teaching packs. So I'm just going to stop sharing for a moment and we'll start to look at the, the presentation. So what we're looking at here, as we've said, is globally responsible careers in STEM. And as we've seen, this is created for scientists for global responsibility. So um, we've talked about SGR and we've talked about globally responsible careers in STEM. So we're going to explore this in a little bit more detail. There'll be some chance for you to uh, ask, answer some questions and to ask questions. So if you've got anything you want to ask, just pop it in the chat and I will monitor that and answer those as we go through. So the first question I'm going to ask you and see if you can think of your answers for this and write something in the chat for me. What do we mean or what do you think is meant by a responsible career? Now, obviously, a career is the sort of work that you do, the jobs that you want to do. But what would make a career a responsible career? Anyone got any ideas they'd like to write in the chat for us? anyone got any thoughts they'd like to share? So there. Oh, physio, that's looking at a very, very specific career. Just thinking about the terms responsible career, what would make a career a responsible career? Whatever job you were doing, what would make it a responsible career? Anyone got any thoughts about that? you can have a career doing absolutely anything. Um, so again, we've got an answer there, scientist and doctor. Those are specific careers. So what is it that makes being a physio or a scientist or a doctor, what makes that a responsible career as opposed to a career that is not responsible? Anyone got any thoughts about that? Why are those things particularly responsible? Helping people, brilliant idea, thank you. No, that's great. Helping people could make something a responsible career. All right, let's go back to the slides. Now, there's no right answers to some of these questions. So I'll be asking you things, and it may be that there, there isn't one correct answer. There's just your thoughts about these things. So we looked at what a responsible career means. Let's expand that a little bit. What do you think is meant by a globally responsible career? Because this is what we've titled the website and the resources. It's not just about a responsible career. It's a globally responsible career. So has anyone got any thoughts about that? What we think is meant by a globally responsible career? If you'd like to write anything in the chat and we'll see, uh, we'll see what people come up with. What's in the chat? Somebody's put, <clears throat> does it mean helping people across the world? That could be part of it. Yeah, yeah. So not just helping people locally, but helping people across the world. Anyone got any other ideas about what we mean by a globally responsible career? 
because it could mean more than that. Not saying it does or it doesn't. I'm just wondering if anyone's got any other ideas. And these are these are questions that you might want to take away with you and think about. So what do I personally mean by a responsible career? And what do I understand to mean by a globally responsible career? Does it mean saving the environment, stopping climate change? Yeah, I mean, because those are global issues. So maybe that's something to do with it. So um, not taking selfish choices and trying to make the world a better place. That's, that's a, a nice idea, I like that one. So it, that could include things like stopping climate change and saving the environment, but not taking selfish choices. So thinking about other people and trying to make the world overall a better place. Wouldn't that be wonderful? So to so say there's no right answers to these, but globally responsible careers tend to include things that help you to meet your career needs. So the things that you want to do, the things that you're interested in, you enjoy, you get um, pleasure from, um, but also things that have a global, potentially global impact. Doing things locally can also have a global impact as well. Um, so we try to think about things that do uh, involve those self, not taking selfish choices, but doing things which help other people as well. So thank you for that. Okay. So let's move on. So let's think about careers. Now, some of us may already be in a career. Some of us like me, I'm still looking forward to what I'm going to be when I grow up. Um, but think about what career path might you want to follow? So people were putting things in the chat before about maybe being a scientist or doctor or physio, but your career path might not involve anything to do with that, with those things. So your career path might be I don't know, to be a builder or a hairdresser or to work in the fire service or the you know, police. Um, it could be absolutely anything. You might want to work in a shop, all sorts of things that people could choose to do. So what career path might you want to follow? Just think about that for a moment. And can you think of a way in which that career is linked to STEM? So I know when I was at school, I wanted to be an architect. I had no idea what it involved. I just had this idea that that's what I wanted to do. And I could think about how is that career linked to STEM? So it's very much linked to technology in terms of building materials. It's linked to um, engineering in terms of how buildings are structured and put together. Uh, quite a bit of maths involved in terms of calculating things. But how is that a globally responsible career would be another question to think about. So thinking about career paths that you want to follow. Has anyone got any, <clears throat> anything they want to put in the chat about career paths that you might want to follow and how that career might be linked to STEM? Oops, sorry. Anyone got any ideas? Anyone else want to fancy being an architect or a builder or work for the fire service? Or do you all want to be astronauts? Just give you a second just to think about any ideas, any career paths and how those careers might be linked to STEM. Let's see if anyone's got any ideas. There's a couple of ideas come through. Oh, people want to be engineers. Now there are lots of different sorts of engineers from civil engineers to structural engineers to electrical engineers, electronic engineers. So there are lots of different um, engineering type jobs. So the word engineering covers an awful lot of things. So thank you for that. Okay, so different career paths that people might want to follow. Oh, computer engineers, someone said as well. Yes, very good. So as I said, there are very uh, variety of engineering roles that you could could choose. So, oh, something else in the chat, what's coming? Occupational therapist, interesting. So what kind of engineer do you think can help people, help the most people? 
that is such a big question um, because, oh, as I say, there are lots of different types of engineer and each of them can play a role. And I think it, it's about that combination of what do you want to do as well as what the roles are. So it's not just about um, what can do, do the most good or most of the most help, but what are the roles that you're most suited to? Oh, a maths teacher. Oh, wonderful. Now that's a fantastic job and something I would never ever want to do, but I can certainly see why that would be a very, very uh, valuable career and obviously linked to STEM. So, doctors, yeah, doctors are obviously um, linked to STEM. Very good. Some good things coming in now. Surgeons and nurses, yeah, yeah. Well, they tend to be the ones that we would, would often think about in terms of uh, responsible careers because they are very much helping people. Okay, let's move on. So, um, careers. So I said, thinking about what things matter to you about your chosen career can help you to think about um, what's important to you. So a whole, on the website, there's a whole section on looking at self-assessment. So you can look at a number of questions and think about how important different factors are for you. So we've got some things here listed, just some of them. So we've got um, salary, so money. So a certain amount of money is, is definitely important. We all need money to be able to live, especially in the current climate where um, things are getting more expensive every day. What hours do you want to work? Do you want to work shifts? Are you prepared to work um, every day of the week? Do you want to work certain days? Do you want to work full time, part time? Somebody talked about doctors. Um, doctors can work you know, very, very, very long hours. Is that something that you want to do or do you want to have a bit more work life balance? So similarly, do you want to think about the skills that you've got? What are your skills? Do you know what they are? And we often talk about transferable skills. So you might be very good at listening to people. Is that something that you want to use? You might be very, very good at using spreadsheets. So it's about analyzing your skills. Are you good at problem solving? Are you good at dealing with people? And all of those skills can lead you to what you might want to do in your chosen career. Do you need to have qualifications to do the thing that you want to do? Certainly to, to um, practice as an architect, I, think I mentioned before, you needed qualifications. To practice as a doctor or nurse, you need qualifications. Are you prepared to study to do those things? How important is it to you to have an employer who themselves is ethical? So if I was working as an architect, would I be prepared to work for, would I want to work for um, an architectural practice that was designing um, energy efficient homes? Or would I, would I be prepared to work for an employer that um, didn't take that into consideration? And to what extent do I want to help with those global issues? And we'll look at those in a moment. So I'm just asking you those questions now, just to think about if there's anything in there that uh, prompts you to think, yes, I want to earn lots and lots and lots of money, or actually I only need to earn enough money. Um, I am prepared to work to get qualifications. I am prepared to go to university to study, et cetera, et cetera. Those are just questions for you to think about. And you can go to the website and have a look at those questions in a little bit more detail. So we'll move on to look at the issues in STEM careers. Now, some of you will have heard of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And what we've done on the website is take those 17 goals and look at them in turn. So what we've done is put together um, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals 1 and 2, and think about some of the issues in there. So SDG 1 is no poverty, and SDG 2 is zero hunger. Then we've put together good health and well-being and clean water and sanitation because clean water and sanitation is one of the biggest issues leading to good health. Without those things, um, it's, it's very difficult to have good health. But beyond that is well-being as well. Third area we looked at combines SDGs 8, 9 and 12, which is decent work and economic growth. So people having good work to do. Um, industry, innovation and infrastructure. 
So that's industry, manufacturing, making things new, um, creating the infrastructure to do that. So roads, bridges, uh, buildings, etc., and responsible consumption and production. So are we making things in a responsible way? Number four, we've looked at um, SDG 713, affordable and clean energy and climate action. So um, we've seen some of the issues around oil, gas and coal recently. Can we move to more affordable and clean energy through renewables, which obviously has an impact on climate, um, climate change, so climate action. Five is about equalities. So quality education, gender equality and reduced inequalities across all boundaries. Then we looked at sustainable cities and communities. So building things that last in terms of the, the actual buildings themselves, but also the communities that they create. And then life, life below water and life on land. So you might be interested in all animal life, plant life below water or on land. And as we're talking about some of these, you might think, actually, yeah, I'm really interested in animals or I'm really interested in making buildings. Or I'm really interested in creating something new. Finally, um, the last two SDGs, 16 and 17, peace, justice and strong institutions and partnerships for the goals. So you might be interested in working towards um, peace across the world or even just peace locally. So you might want to, after today, have a look at the section on issues and look at those sustainable development goals and see if they prompt you to think about what globally responsible issues you might be concerned about. So um, has anyone having a look at those thought, yeah, there's some of those that I'm really interested in. I'd really like to um, have a career that made a difference to something in those lists. Anyone been prompted to think about any of those? When you put them in the chat. I'm thinking that um, when I was talking about being an architect, that would have been around uh, maybe sustainable cities, it could have been around um, number nine, infrastructure. It might also have been about um, creating good health. So if people are, are living in buildings which are, um, you know, they're warm, they're dry, they're, they're well built, then that can contribute to good health as well. The work that I do at the moment is mainly around education. So I'm very much concerned with quality education at all levels and that being accessible to everyone, and through that reducing inequalities. I'm also very much working on climate action. So I do a lot of work with organizations, helping them to improve their environmental sustainability. So my career has changed throughout my life. I did start off being an architect, but I've now become um, a sustainability consultant. So moved on. People's careers can change. So let's just look at that. Examples of globally responsible careers in STEM. So these are, these are just some of the things you might have thought about. So um, I have a relative who was a paramedic, um, emergency medical responders, drive the ambulances, they look after people when uh, there are emergencies. And this can relate to um, SDG3, good health and well-being. Now, obviously, you need to have qualifications to do that, and the hours are not always very um, sociable. So that's something to think about in terms of whether you'd want to do that job. You might be interested in um, life, life below water and climate action. So marine biologists, you could study aspects of life in the sea, especially as we're looking at the changes in our planet and what's happening in the sea with it becoming warmer and um, acidifying, which has an impact on life below water. So you might be interested in that. Again, that would involve probably university study to be able to do that. Epidemiologist, lovely word, studies the spread of diseases, been very valuable over the last few years. Um, so good health and well-being, again, and reducing inequalities. Obviously, in, in some countries, um, as we've seen during the pandemic, they had less access to some of the things that we had in terms of vaccines and may be uh, liable for more diseases. Web designer, someone talked about um, computer engineer before, designing on online content for clients. You could choose to do that for a fossil fuel company, but you could also choose to do it for uh, more ethical companies. 
So that could be around decent work, economic growth, um, in, the in, web infrastructure, and responsible consumption and production. So these are just examples of some of the, the careers that we've got listed on the website. So let's just have a quick look at some case studies. So this should take us to the website. So you should be seeing now the website and case studies. And we've got a few cases there, just some examples of some globally responsible careers. And this first one is around Kirsten. She is a climate change consultant working for a global sustainable development firm, which provides design, engineering, architecture, planning and advisory services across every aspect of the built environment. So that's a big organisation. It's a global organisation. And she shares her knowledge of the causes and consequences of climate change. And she speaks to the clients and she helps them to understand what the impact might be of what they're building, putting their infrastructure. So we've got her qualifications, what's important to her, her career principles, and I like her advice. Make a list of everything you would like out of a job. Then go through the list and highlight the things that are not negotiable, the things that you need to have, which might be working nine to five, um, working um, in a particular area. So those are the things you will not compromise on. So if we go back to the case studies, we'll just look at, at one more. Um, we've got Michelle, who's a, a civil engineer. We talked about engineering. She's a civil engineer and she works for a renewable energy company. She, see her there with one of the wind turbines she designed. Um, I'm just going to look at this one here, Martin. Um, he founded an organization called Relic Plastic, which recycles plastic that has little or no value and makes high quality handmade products. So it's a very new organization. Um, and his advice is, even if the role is not ethical, you can shape it to be that. Everyone has an influence, whatever role you're in, whether that's in human resources or accounting or um, managing in an organization, you can influence other people within an organization to be more sustainable. Okay, so, so those are some of the um, case studies we've got on the on SGR's Responsible Science um, website. So just to finish up, does anyone have any final questions or comments they'd like to put in the chat about responsible careers? As I said, this is a, a very short session just to introduce you and, and to demonstrate to you what some of the resources are that we've got on the website. Um, so the web website address is there if you want to um, go and have a look and see if there's anything else you want to explore. I would recommend looking at the self-assessment first to try to understand a bit more about yourself and what you want from a job role. And then looking at the sustainable development goals and the issues. And then look at some of the career paths. I think we've listed about 50 career paths on there, but there are obviously many more careers than that. And as Martin said in his uh, case study, even if um, you don't automatically see the, um, the globally responsible issue in your role, or it may not easily be a STEM role, there might be things that you could do to influence other people and to make their organization more environmentally sustainable. So does anyone have any questions before we finish? question there. My profession, my profession, I, depends who's asking. Um, I have two things that I do. One is I'm an occupational psychologist, which means that I try to understand what motivates people at work and I help them to organize their businesses better. Uh, so I work a lot with managers, um, helping them to improve how they run their businesses, but with a particular focus on environmental sustainability. Um, so I'm also a sustainability consultant. So I work with organizations implementing their environmental management systems, which is how they look at 
um, their uh, environmental impact. So how they measure that, what their uh, carbon footprint is, and how they can engage their employees to be more sustainable. So that I think brings together the two sides of my, my profession. Um, so I can understand a bit more psychologically what uh, motivates people to do different things. And I've got an understanding of a lot of the sustainability issues and what it is they need to focus on. So how they reduce their, their resource use, electricity, gas, water, and materials. So I can work with anything from a vet to a hospital, from a school to, um, to a marketing company. And in that way, I'm helping them to reduce their environmental impact. So that's, that's my profession. So thank you for that question. Okay. So if there are no other questions, then I will close this session and thank you for your attention today. Please go and have a look at the website. Uh, this session will be available on Scientists for Global Responsibilities website. Um, after uh, YouTube channel after today. So thank you for today and enjoy the rest of your Friday. <laughs>